Hey cunts, how y'all doing? If you're a fan of the dude we are talking about today, you might as well just uninstall the game and sell your Android phone on eBay because we got too many brainless kids in this community already. This might neither be the first or last video you will see a content creator make about this guy and I'm safe to say that he deserves everything. From AIDS to car accidents, just everything. But who are we talking about here? Let me give you three phrases that might describe a person and two of them will perfectly fit him. A highly skilled professional critical ops player and content creator that attracted all of his subs with highly entertaining and high quality videos. A guy that has been an absolute random and was completely asked before buying an iPad Pro. A dude that puts stay real and stay loyal into his Twitter bio while blocking everyone that publicly criticizes him and lying to his community by calling himself a pro while not being one and doing a great job in making Critical Force not respond to any criticism and suggestions anymore by spamming uninformed crap below every fucking video, tweet or discord message they post because he's a fucking whiny kid that has no idea on how the gaming industry works and just tries to forward the mainstream opinion to farm subs and followers. Just show me that you're a Chris fan and leave me a dislike please. So after the Chris fans stop watching we can now jump to actual argumenting. So, far from the mainstream opinion, Critical Force is just doing a solid job at the moment because getting out of the hole that they brought themselves into by business decisions from the past is not an easy task, but some blind as human being thinks that coding an anti-cheat or fixing a bug is something you can do in one evening. But what do I expect from someone that puts an effort of 20 minutes into editing his videos? But who to blame him? If my community was that stupid, I'd probably do the same. Luckily it's quite obvious that people always attract a community that's on their same mental level. I mean, complaining about someone that gives his community a service of handcam videos and calling them uncreative and clickbait, but then uploading the same shit two weeks later is interesting, I guess. Speaking of videos, let me tell you what a montage is. You need good shots, preferably ones that are hard to replicate so they stun the viewer, audio effects, visual effects such as zooms, color correction or any other way to visually change the montage away from being normal gameplay, High quality background music, preferably rock, rap or something epic that should fit the title or what's happening in the montage and syncing video and audio to the background song. What of those did Chris last montage have? Oh, 30,000 subs, holy shit. And dude, honestly, fuck off with your damn chair, no one cares. And I think I forgot about something. Oh yeah, fake giveaways. How are, you, how are you doing? He's trying to bait people to join his Discord and follow his Twitter to higher the chance of winning the giveaway. There's no way of keeping track of Twitter followers or Discord server members if he never asks anyone to write their Discord or Twitter name anywhere when participating. He could at max ask them if they follow his Twitter or are on his server when he already drafted the winners, but if so, then they already won, so it doesn't really matter. So again, no matter how you turn and twist it, it's a scam. But that rather tells us some stuff of Chris as a person and how much he's willing to do to appear relevant, but he at least is a good player, right? Right? Hmm, maybe not. For many people, the debate is going around on whether 120 FPS players are just good because of their device. I was wondering about the same thing looking at Chris and I found out something that might be quite interesting to you. So, if we look at someone that hasn't been boosted by his device, we will see that he was performing on a quite high level on 60 FPS as well. Well, for Chris, on the other hand... Yeah, what am I supposed to say about that? And by the way... You're saying that you're trying to have fun with playing Critical Ops, but looking at the fact that there are 8 ads on every 10 minute video you have kinda shows how big of a role the fun plays, but yeah, stay real and loyal guys.